dropping a note. <laughs> no, not that one. Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, hello, everybody, and welcome to Strike Team Beta Episode 11, A Hero Walks Into a Bar. So, last time on Strike Team Beta, um, the party wrapped up the, uh, the dragon fight from two episodes ago. They celebrated uh, their captain's first dragon kill, um, and they went and got a well-earned respite. Um, they then asked, uh, or uh, they split up, and half the team asked some mercenaries some questions. They asked members of the Blood Axes, uh, a, um, an erudite ogre named Bartholomew from the Blue Sigil, and uh, a third group of the goblinoids. Chill. The Chill, thank you. Uh, they asked them some questions. They learned that uh, the mercenary work in town is drying up, and that was alarming to some of them. Uh, while they were doing, uh, while they were doing that, uh, Autumn and uh, Chidara went uh, and asked the guards some questions, and they were um, introduced to one Corporal Nobby Nobs. Um, it's spelled differently to avoid copyright infringement, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he was. Very helpful for a price. Um, told them some more information. Showed them a, a safe house that he knows certain members of the Cult of the Dragon use. Uh, and as Chadara and Autumn were working, walking back to the North Look, uh, Autumn saw that they were being followed um, until uh, they jumped into an alleyway and their pursuer somehow evaded them. Okay. So, uh, first things first, uh, Marty, you want to do your thing? Uh, yes, please. Um, okay, not to get to Liam O'Brien about it, but before <laughs> all of that, uh, okay. rewinding to uh, the previous night, uh, post-celebration, um, Chidara is uh, quiet and in bed and writing a letter. Dear sis, scratch out, Chadi, how goes the search for Lita? Well, I hope. I don't know how much longer the dragon cult's eyes will be held north. He has an undead dragon and access to a drought crime family that rivals the Zents. Thank you for the help of your asset, scratch out, friend, the Hester. I must admit, I don't know how best to utilize her help. She was quite useful in extinguishing a fire and saving something dear to me. But I don't know if this is the best use of her skills. Uh, which is to say, if she's only here to chaperone, I would ask you to reconsider her involvement. I killed a dragon tonight. Scratch that off the list, I guess. And while Autumn seems impressed in my unit, scratch out. Team, scratch out, friends, kept me up with congratulations and attempts to bolster my flagging confidence. Chadi, you couldn't feel more empty. It was just some mad animal. Putting it down was more a mercy than glory. I thought it would be different. I thought everything would be different. I feel as if my every instinct, my every goal has been a lie. Like my head's been cut off and the body is still going. I've never been more free and yet never felt more paralyzed and worthless. I feel like I'm letting mother down and, and you. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what to do. Lastly, while I'm being honest, thank you, I suppose, for giving me permission to be myself without the shame I thought was my only path. But now what? Okay, so I like girls. How do I know if they like me back? Or what to do if they do? I'm sitting here writing this, watching her sleep and listening to her breathe. And I don't think it's quite as endearing as the teenage monster romance books you used to read in made ten. <laughs> Any advice for the baby sister who would be lost without you? Shadara. I think she like puts it on the bed first, then reads it again, half crumples it up. 
smooths it back out, stuffs it in the stupid box. Uh, there's a response. <laughs> would you Would you like to wait on that, or uh, can I just get it out of the way? You can just yeah, just do it now. Go ahead. Okay. That this is more in line with timeline wise, what's yeah. actually happening now. Fast so, forward again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> flutter, flutter, flutter. Chata, I have yet to be able to locate Lita. She's a hard person to track down when she's not showing up unwanted. I suspect she's obscuring her whereabouts magically, which bodes well that if I can't find her, you're scratched out. Our enemies can't either. A crime family that rivals the Zentarum, that doesn't sound so bad. Do your best and focus on the undead dragon. Speak of which, oh, Chada. Well, you're the dog that caught the cart, aren't you? Don't worry so overmuch about such singular goals as killing dragons or saving the world. The Tillers didn't set out to save the realm. We set out to right one wrong, which led to another, until we found, our, found ourselves facing a two-headed giant in a tidal wave with a face. I highly suspect your, crossed out, our mother, didn't even know the realm was in danger. She just saw a five-headed dragon queen and needed to compare bra sizes with it. Please aspire to better intentions than that. Just... Do good and help people like you already do, as has always come naturally to you, to you to care about strangers. I sometimes wonder if I shouldn't have been the soldier and you the priest. Take solace in the lives that are better for your passing. And if you're only ever the hero of Hundlestone, that town is the better for you. And I'll be proud of you, if that holds any meaning. As for your last question, I laughed so loud, I'm surprised I didn't wake our father. You're asking me for romantic advice? I struck out in Belliard. Belliard, Chada, a town where no man had seen anyone who wasn't his mother or daughter in a season that wasn't there to anni annihilate their town. Their town I saved. But you know how farm folk are, always very tense and put off. So I don't have much sisterly advice for you. She was very defensive of you, and I think she was charmed with you, if I say so, and I'm pretty good at reading people. But I don't know, have you tried acquiring a personality? Perhaps more than one face. One that doesn't look like you ate a bunch of rocks and haven't passed them yet. Maybe purchase a sense of humor while you're in town. Or at least a demeanor that doesn't suggest the only true music is one a military could march to. Or, I don't know, get over yourself and ask her how she's doing. I'm sure women like that sort of thing. Good luck. I love you. Shadi. Postscript. I will discuss matters with Hester. And brush your hair once in a while. You look like the Savage North was a person up there. <laughs> <laughs> Helpful advice, as always, from Chad. <laughs> She's the best. <laughs> She's got away. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So, so, back at the North Look, uh, you guys are all sitting around the bar, and Bartholomew has folded himself a little paper football out of the broadsheets, and he's kind of flicking it. Um, and he... He looks around the table and he says, so, so what do you all normally do? F you know, for you know, mercenaries? It seems like a small company. <laughs> oh, Soup, we can't hear you. <laughs> oh, I didn't say anything. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Are, is this everybody is back here? No, is this, this is just this okay. is just the three of yeah. them. Uh, and <laughs> Bartholomew would say, "Do I do I have to? You know what? Never mind then." We are sort of a special strike team. We take care of uh, jobs that require a compact force. Uh, Sometimes we've used uh, larger support. We uh, recruit locals sometimes to augment our ranks. But ideally, we try to keep our footprint small. You uh, strike us as being the kind of singular individual that uh, we take to. Every one of us is a sort of specialist, sort of oddball, mixing it all together. I don't know if that answers your question, but... Uh, that's what came to mind. Uh, 
we kill things. Has that been enough for you? I mean, more in line with what I was thinking, but I, I, I like the whole SEAL Team 6 pitch, too. Um, SEAL Team who? I wouldn't worry about it. Um, it's a team of six SEALs you probably haven't heard of. Yes. <laughs> Magical SEALs. Very impressive. Northerners are so weird. Man eating stuff. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Definitely. Well, um, <clears throat> how about yourself? What's your experience been like? Oh, you know, crawled out of a cave, learned to read. Um, you know, kind of got that just thirst for city life. That you don't get when you have to live in a swamp cave. Yeah, no. So, I, uh, it turns out people are willing to pay you to smash things with a club. Who knew? I do that. It's a lucrative business, as I understand. And you said you were part of the Blue Sigil, was it? Yes. Yes. And it will kind of... Uh, look you up and down uh, and fire a, and he'll say um, you have the uh, more the air of a mercenary about yourself as well what what are you Exentarum? flaming fist oh no not so gauche as that uh, I did some time with the silent rain Kind of very nice, yes. Um, people don't usually walk away from that. Well, I'm not a usual sort of person. He'll take out. He'll ask if you mind if he smokes, and then he takes out like a long one of those long cigarette holders and puts a cigarette in it. Uh, I'll. Spark it up for him. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so kind. Indeed. Indeed. Um. And he'll kind of nod. And say, and he'll look at Bram. And he'll look at Bram's parrot. And he'll kind of glare at Bram's parrot and then look back at Bram. <laughs> and say, um. Again, eyeing you up and down, uh, he locks eyes with your holy symbol, and he says, uh, Sailor? Question mark? I was at one time, long ago, but, um, I, I'm, I don't sail anymore, I'm just... Permanently adrift. Yeah, he does that sometimes. I have yet to find an island with enough coconuts to sustain myself. <laughs> kind of. We're, we're working on that. Every man, <laughs> every man is an island. Yes. <laughs> He speaks such wisdom. I can see why he is your religious leader. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, well, we'll call him that. We'll, we'll go with that. Um, can I get perception checks from everyone, please? Here we go. Let's see here. It rolled off of the 20 and onto the 2. I'm so sorry. Uh, I got a 12. Okay. Got a 14. 14. 5. 5, pardon me. Okay. Um, We're all adrift. <laughs> in our own way. Bartholomew Some... thinks on that for a minute. Sorry, keep going. Some don't want to admit it. Some don't even notice that the sharks are circling. <laughs> I look at the ogre. They might be closer than you think. And as Bram says that, 
a tankard full of ale flies over your heads and crashes <laughs> into the goblin who tumbles off his apple box and kind of hops back up and he's pulled a dagger you don't know from where and he screams you son of a bitch and he jumps across the table and starts uh, fighting with the uh, dwarves oh oh Time before that happened. Should we roll initiative? Is this a melee that's yeah. happening? Yeah, roll initiative. <laughs> uh, I got a 17. 17, okay. 11. I got an 18. Ooh. Is it mm. under... Bar fight, bar brawl. <laughs> I'm using one of my favorite monsters from the Creature Codex, the Bar Brawl monster. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Wait, so is it a swarm? Like it's what's... a swarm. Yeah, and so it's and it's really good That's... at it. Actually, kind of. That's hilarious. Yeah. Instead of treating it as a table, mm -hmm. it's a monster. That's fun. That's very cool. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Bram, you get to go first. So the the fight started small, with the goblin kind of jumping over and started pummeling on a halfling. But uh, the dwarves all broke their tankards, and uh, dwarves are proficient in broken steins as weapons. Um <laughs> Uh, and it is a full-on melee at this point. Someone has taken a swing at you. Uh, Bartholomew is standing on the table trying to implore these gentlemen to... Everyone, calm down. <laughs> and then a table... Or a table leg smashes into the back of him, and he says, Well, that was uncalled for. Um, um, I dare say. And it's, so, <laughs> this probably reminds me of every night on the ship... Mm -hmm. When Ash, Ash Flammable would start something with Bi Curious or Mo. So, uh, I'm going to. I'm picturing, like, behind the bar, there's a wall full of bottles. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So, whoops, I'm going to cast Shatter. I'm actually going to center it on the bottles. Okay. <laughs> and if I hit anybody else, it's just a lucky coincidence. Okay. So they have to make constitution saving throws? Uh, yeah, DC 15, please. You're going to wipe off this bar's stock single-handedly. Well, if we're in a bar fight, <laughs> I feel like we need to do the bar fight stuff, you know? Throw a chair. Somebody needs to go through the window. You know? Oh, for sure. And the Superman thing where you grab somebody and you slide them all the way down the bar. Oh, down the bar, yeah. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Hopefully there's a chandelier, you know, all that stuff. Okay, so uh, roll your damage. Okay, so uh, let's see. Shatter. 3d8 thunder. Okay, 8. Whoa, 7, so 15. And a 6, so it's 21. Ow. Now, I think I have a special thing. Let's see. It's a lot of broken glass. Uh, I thought I had a bonus. Oh. You could channel wait. divinity to max it out. Yeah. You know what? I rolled so well, though. I feel you like really I don't. It's really quite yeah. good. Okay. So, um, a bunch of the patrons go flying. The 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 bottles all shatter and rain glass on uh, various patrons. And it's... Uh, the bartender is kind of... He's like... He's kind of like in like his bar fight booth. Like, he puts himself in a little wooden room that he can just look out of. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you do a crap ton of damage to this, this bar brawl. I want to see if I can get the ogre to pick up the booth and start hitting people with okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Use this. <laughs> want to scare the bartender as much as possible. Okay. Like, uh, fill it with blood. Uh, uh Katra. So is this a recognizable like thing, or is it a bar 
brawl breaking out as far as I'm concerned. It's you know a, what I mean? Like, it's a brawl. Do I know it's a monster? No, no. Well, right. it's 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 just treated as a monster. It's a swarm, so it's every individual person in the bar fight. I see. So, I see. But it is, so it's, it's, it's a, a bar fight. Mecha- for mechanical purposes, it's yes. a monster. I see. Okay. Yeah. Great. That that affects how I conduct myself. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Um, so, I'm going to. So the goblin and the and the uh, who else is there? Goblin is fighting a dwarf. Yeah. So there's the goblin, a uh, hobgoblins, dwarf, gnome, halfling. Uh, and they're in greater numbers than when you guys were just individually talking to them. It's closer to lunchtime now, so more people have come back from not finding work, so the bar is actually about half full. Okay. Um, geez, you know, I don't know. I could do too much without um, really hurting someone, uh, which I don't want to do. So, jeez. Oh, I'm going to... Who's closest to me physically? Uh, one of the hobgoblins. All right, I'm gonna try and intervene and separate whoever the hob is fighting. Okay. And and try to appeal to both of them. I'll speak in common, um, just to be clear that I'm not hobbing it up. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like to make a persuasion or intimidation check to try and get? Them uh, I'll make a persuasion check. Okay. Which is, uh, let's see, I have plus zero. So, and I got an eighteen. Okay. Um. As this is a bar fight, uh, the people immediately start crying, saying that you're my best friend, <laughs> and hugging each other. It's a, it's some dwarf and a hobgoblin. I love it. Okay. Hug it out. Hug it out, guys. They're going to lose uh, hit points for that. <laughs> yeah. It's the only way to treat it. I yeah. like it. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, I think that's all I can do. Okay. I moved to them, and and I did. That was my action. So, uh, good. And fire. Okay. I want to see if I can pull some bullshit here. But I would like to pull out my spear. Okay. And I'd like to plant it into the ground. And I would like to spend a charge mm-hmm. to have the leaves in my sphere come out and obscure the area. Okay. And I was wondering, and I totally understand if not, if I could turn this into amplifying an intimidation check to get everybody to calm the fuck down. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so make an intimidation check with advantage. Okay. Okay. It's much better. 18. Okay. So, and Fyra, uh, do you stab the pointy end, or do you just plant it firmly uh, blunt end? I feel like I would go blunt end to try and make noise to get everyone's attention. Okay. So, and Fyra slams her spear down, and... Um, as she does, kind of the the leaves that are engraved all down the shaft of it uh, glow and um, spinning around her, a bunch of uh, autumn, uh, autumnal leaves begin spinning and um, kind of spreading out around her uh, in like a whirlwind. And what would you like to yell? I'd like to yell... Children, would you all calm down? Everybody cool out. Everybody cool out. Um, okay. Uh, as you do, um, a couple people kind of, you know, bar stool over their head. Uh, someone's dumping a beer on the goblin. Uh, a bunch of them kind of stop and stare at you. So I'm going to leave some more hit points. And then does a uh, 13 hit your armor class, Anfira? No. Okay. Does a, <laughs> does a 
20 hit your armor class and fire up. Yes. Okay. Uh, as a dart just hits you right in the shoulder <laughs> and does 10 piercing damage. <laughs> and the That's guy who, some dart. Yeah, the guy who threw yeah, it kind of right? like... <laughs> was aiming for the ogre? Does that make it better? <laughs> y- y'all done fucked up. <laughs> uh, and the pillow jumps through the window and eats him. <laughs> yes. uh, uh, Bram, it is your turn again. So I see that my allies are trying to calm everybody down, but then my shippy the parrot whispers something in my ear. <laughs> And I think back warmly to the bar fight on the ship where poor old man Moistfinger was getting his butt handed to him and I had to jump in to help him. So I'm going to drop a thunder wave, hopefully sending at least one creature hurtling through the gigantic plate glass window that I assume is at the front of the (laughs) bar. And there's probably a horse and a trow, and the person lands yes. in the trow. <laughs> right next to the saloon like, well, style door. I don't door. know yeah. what happened. The horse just keeps drinking. You know. So, <laughs> so thunder roll, wave. Yeah, roll your damage. Uh, constitution save. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of thunder here. Looks like six thunder. <laughs> thunder. Okay. Yes. Uh, so Bram stamps his foot on the ground. And, yeah, some guy goes ass for first, flipping, <laughs> smashes through the window, skitters onto the street. The street outside stops and I'll look into the bar and then start walking again. <laughs> Classic. New Yorkers. Um, <laughs> anything else on your turn, Bram? That's it. Okay. Uh, Katra. Uh, okay, so, uh, the huggers, they're still hugging and not bugging? Yes. Is that right? Yes. Okay, um, who's, who's the next group? Anybody who needs some more love, uh, hug doctor therapy? Um, so, yeah, the, the bunch of dwarves have now started infighting, so <laughs> they're punching each other and smashing bottles, and one of them's got a bar stool, and it's just... Boys, boys, you're all pretty. <laughs> I'll try and break it up. Uh, same kind of check? Persuasion? Or maybe a performance? Trying to be ridiculous here? I'm yeah, I was going to say you're, it's, it's almost like, like you're trying to confuse them. Um, right. <laughs> uh, 17. Okay. Now the, one, the dwarf has the bar stool above his head, kind of smashes it one more time, and then pauses to think. Am I pretty? <laughs> <laughs> My mother always said I was a handsome boy, but I just assumed. What do you, what do you guys think? Let's talk about it. <laughs> then they'll start to... Make out. <laughs> you know what? Sure. <laughs> nice! <laughs> yes! <laughs> They're all pretty! <laughs> yeah. It's one of those where one like turns to one yeah. and they start kissing for like a minute and then stops and turns up to the other one and then just does the same thing. And this is... Just watching each other and it's like... This is, <laughs> this is two episodes in a row, which I think clearly states, give us a dwarf romance option, Bioware. Amen. That's, that's my soapbox. Go ahead. I never realized you were so handsome, Ebrick. <laughs> and that's how dwarves kiss. Yep. Ebrick. It's a lot of face smashing. Yeah. It's a tangle of beards. It's beer? I was just gonna <laughs> say it. Um, you know. It's it's more um, beautiful than the original Dwarvish. Okay. Uh the bar the bar fight they only has be united in holy dreadlock. Uh, yeah. the, the bar fight only has a couple participants left, and Fyra, what would you like to do? Um You know what? I'm just gonna gust is the asshole that shot me with a dart is still participating in this? Uh, yes, he has turned to not face you, but he is still over <laughs> at the bar, kind of. He's getting more darts. Yeah, <laughs> probably. All right, he's like I'm reaching Gusta behind the bar ass. trying to find something. Gust of wind. Yes. I, I, I want to gust him out a window. Okay, is it a strength save? It is. 
yes, a strength save. Uh, he will fail his strength save. Good. Go out a window. <laughs> As he goes out another plate glass window. I'm gonna just, like, grab the dart out of my neck, snap it, and then just gust him. <laughs> Wilhelm scream. And there's the crew that just replaced the previous window stand, and they're like, come on. It's They're, a- like, waiting in the truck. They've got another two pairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Tuesday. You know. It's a living. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's the bar brawl's turn. Um, let's see. The goblin will take its bottle. Or it has a dagger. And it will attack Katra. <laughs> uh, not very good. Let's see. 12 to hit Katra? Yes. My mage armor up. So is that a hit with mage armor or a miss? No, it's a definite oh, miss. Okay. And 14 to hit. Also a miss. Okay. As it swings its dagger twice at you. Uh... Bram, this goblin is pretty much the only one left in the fight. What would you like to do? Well, you said there was some people making out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to have a flashback to one of our battles where by Curious, mm-hmm. and mm. Inner Peace were kind of making out. And I'm going to like look over at the ogre's like glistening abs. And be like, what? Oh! And I'll shake myself out of it. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> There's one goblin left. Yeah. So, uh, I feel like slide him down the bar, I guess, mm-hmm. and do that. Maybe okay. I'll, mm-hmm. can I surf on him on the bar? <laughs> do one of these, just to totally make it stupid. Uh, <laughs> sure, give me a, a, an athletics check. This can is... I use Gust of Wind to Oh, sure, yeah, no, if you want to oh. use a spell, go ahead. It's done. Uh, he needs a strength save, DC 15. Uh, he will fail his strength save. All right, so we're just going down the bar. But I'm, like, looking back at the ogre. What's like, happening? Checking to see if he's watching? Yeah. <laughs> is he Maybe impressed? I am. I don't know. The, yeah. ogre, the ogre's shirt is torn open, and his hair has come loose from his bun, and it's streaming behind him. What is happening? Like, yeah. Fabio. Bram Tholomew. I ship that now, too. You got Phil <laughs> yeah. Ram and Bram Tholomew. All three of them. Yeah. Uh, my next, All my next painting is gonna be like <laughs> <laughs> just ogre. glistening ogre. You're really abs. working on those abs for a long time, Graham. <laughs> yeah, like every every protagonist right. in this painting somehow looks like an ogre and has like really <laughs> accentuated oiled abs. I thought this guy, I thought this was a historical priest. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, and that will successfully end this bar fight as you know <laughs> the chandelier crashes down <laughs> and the bartender is just again probably have insurance for this kind of thing oh yeah yeah that's what the guys out front are for bar fight <laughs> um for all we know this was staged so he could collect the money um, can I get uh, perception checks from uh, the, bar, the bar fight participants, please? Sure. Ten. Ten? Oh, oh nice. Oh, me too. Okay. Hey, in chat, for giveaway, we have nothing. We don't have anything. <laughs> oh, what a giveaway. Yeah. Oh. Uh, enjoy this. Actually, ga- enjoy this, Gary. Of... Hey, free D and D game. Gary's we're not talking about that. I, I have a lot of giveaway stuff actually. If somebody... I just bought a bunch of minis. Yeah. Um, yeah. Please. I have a half chewed pencil. Uh, use oh, the well, note we'll card. We'll ship it all the list. Anyone want to use? <laughs> use the note card. <laughs> Is are both sides used or? No, just it... one side. It's half full. It's the line least. side, though, so... Oh. I don't um, know. 
It's got it's got absolutely worthless notes on it. Um, okay. <clears throat> so with those nat twenties, you two are gonna notice two separate things. So and fire. <laughs> as you uh, as you're kind of looking at the aftermath, uh, you're kind of trying to figure out what happened. Um, you're looking to where the the mug was thrown. And you can see someone has kind of... The bar fight, it didn't last very long. So someone has just reached the door. And they've kind of pushed it open and are quickly walking outside as if maybe they started... They threw it Mm -hmm. and ran. Can I follow them? Sure. I would like to follow them. Okay. And Katra, uh, you notice there was one person who didn't... Uh, participate in the bar fight and they are just slumped over at the edge of the bar. Uh, okay, I'll go over to them. Okay. And we'll get back to you guys in a second. Autumn Great. and Chidara. Okie doke. <clears throat> um, Alright, so we're kind of taking the the long way on the northern end of town. Mm-hmm. From the east part of town where we found the boarding house. So That's we right. got We're followed. Subterfuging. <laughs> That's right. We are subterfuging. <laughs> For subterfuge. Yeah, this isn't a date. <laughs> Shut up. Um, and as we're kind of uh, determining and we're, we're headed back towards the inn, uh, I would like to see like one of the access ways. Uh, like one of the access stairs to the wall. Mm-hmm. Be like, oh, hey, uh, you got to see this, and okay. start leading on in that way. I'm sure the rest of the team is fine. What kind of trouble could they be getting into? No, they're fine. <laughs> Cut back to Cut inner spice bar. Inner spice bar fight. <laughs> uh. Yeah, flash my badge if I have to get past anybody, but just try and get uh, up on the wall. Sure. Yeah, you flash your badge and nobody gives you any problems. I'll tell them to keep their eyes open for anybody who's obviously hiding from the sun. Um, And look at you. Okay. Drow. I mean drow. Good job, private. Okay. Um... Yeah, and just, like, separate a little bit as I kind of hurry up these stairs. Okay. Um, kind of walk to get a good, like, middle look out over Bryn Shandar into the valley, kind of to the south. Like, just all of it. Oh, wow. You can see everything up here. Yeah. Uh Pretty, isn't it? Yeah. And Chidar will remember to look down at the valley again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh there's not much to miss about here, but it's got this. I like it up here. It's peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna feel removed from it. Exactly connected to it yeah it's nice uh, I feel, uh, I've been kind of all over the place uh, lately and, and kind of in and out of my own ass I think uh Yeah, then there's the fight with the dragon and fires and and you kind of rushing in like brooms and stuff and (laughs) bit of a blur. I I don't know. I just want to say like uh, I worry about you um, more than the others. Uh that's it's not about trust. I, I trust you 
implicitly. It's just, um, mm -hmm. look, I meet with a shield. It's what I trained for. I took an oath that my life was worth less than any of these people. Baker, Urchin. If my death stops one arrow from hitting the person behind me, it's worth it. And like before you yell at me or anything, I, I don't want to die. I don't have a death wish. Uh, in fact, I've developed something of a life wish lately. But I've made peace with it. Um, a soldier. <laughs> very, very helpful. Thank you. Um, oh, they're on to me. <laughs> He's crying. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Continue. Um, <laughs> I'm not here. I'm a, I'm a soldier. Katra's a soldier. I think she probably had to like marry death or something. I don't know. Goblins are weird. I've heard a lot of rumors. And fire a mercenary, basically soldier. Bram, maybe. I still a lot of book out on Bram. But you, you aren't. Um. So I'm worried sometimes because know, you're the only one I could see being something else. Like, let me put it this way. You're the only one of us that could pull off a dress, I think. <laughs> That's uh, an interesting notion to have. I mean, I've worn them before, but <laughs> not necessarily my chosen dress. I mean... I know that you worry. I can tell, I guess. Um, it's... I feel bad about it. And I wish that I could do something to alleviate that worry. But, I mean, I can... I can tell you that I've... I've been through a lot. And whatever you may think I could be, uh, this is what I am. And this is what I've been built into. And uh, it's, it's not going to be that easy to take me down, I don't think. No, no. I don't know if that makes you feel better at all. Well... I don't know if it'll stop me from worrying entirely, but no, yeah, I know, I know. I know you're capable. And look, I've never asked you how you came by your skills or why you're out here doing this stuff. I think that I'm afraid that if I questioned my fortune, you'd disappear. But you don't need to tell me anything. You don't want to. Um, but something's been eating at you. Um, other than my mood. And I'm not really from a sharing family. We're good with feelings. But you can tell me stuff. That you could say anything that would change how I feel, how I think about you. So I don't know. I guess while we got this moment, how are you? I'm. I'm not prone to honesty, of, to say anything that I actually think or feel. I keep a lot of that inward um i'd like to tell you a lie and say i'm great <laughs> and laugh it off but i uh 
have a lot of trouble not telling you the truth. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Is there a horse on the wall? <laughs> <laughs> There's a stable yard. <laughs> mm, hurry up and make out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, They're called you... shipping horses. They only have them up here. <laughs> They're sex horses. <laughs> so, what? Mostly sex horses. No. <laughs> what? No. All horses, All horses are sex horses. Oh, that, one's named, really? that one's named Yowie, and that one's named Yori. Yeah. Not enough time with horses. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I guess running into Evelyn wasn't great for my mood or emotions or feelings, or whatever. Yeah. And, and Eve Alexiers really bothered you, huh? Yeah, it's just, she had this huge impact on me, and doesn't even fucking remember me. I don't really have any exes to speak of, e evil or otherwise, uh, but I'm pretty good at reading people. That runs in my family. Um, and... She was so full of shit, her eyes were brown. I, <laughs> like, she was doing a very consistent effort to, like, ignore you. I don't think she didn't remember. That ranger wanted no part of her time, and she just kept touching her and chatting with her like it was two-sided. Well. well, that oh. would be really amusing if it were the case. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was my read on it. Do you want to talk about it? I don't know what to say. She was... She was the first person I met after leaving home, really. Like, met, met. And actually hung around with... And we had this sort of group going that turned into a family and or I thought it was a family and I thought we fell in love and I thought it was all great. And then I came back to the base one day and everybody was gone. And when I tracked her down, she told me I was an idiot for thinking that it was anything other than professional. Oof. So yeah, evil ex-girlfriend. Yeah. No, yeah, that's... I think that counts. <laughs> uh, for sure. And I can see, I guess, we're running back into her. We're shake you well I think she was full of shit and trying to present like she didn't notice but um, I don't know I don't know that I describe us as a family I'm really trying to grow accustomed to calling people friends it turns out I have a problem with. Um, but I, I don't expect you'll come back to find us gone. That helps. That's good to know. Yeah. This is the first group I've tried to actually stick around with since they just Evelyn disappeared. It's both harder and easier than I thought it was going to be, but I made you a promise that I was going to stick around. 
And I think they take that more seriously than just about anything else. Well, I'm very happy to hear that. Kind of look back out over the city, see someone fly out of a bar window. <laughs> Is that our end? <laughs> Might be. Yeah. Well, we should probably get back. But thanks for this. Thanks for trusting me with that. I think I should be the one thanking you. For... What, this old thing? I point out to the whole city view. <laughs> no, Athens. for uh, making me feel safe enough to say something honest. Yeah, sure. Even if it's just for a little bit until we see people fly out of bar windows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We can't see our drow from up here, can we? <laughs> make a make a perception check. Yeah. I'm gonna be trash at it, but I care about the natural ones. So... Oh, Autumn is not paying attention to anything else. <laughs> Plus zero. Uh, I rolled a natural eighteen though, so okay. uh, you don't see a drow, but you do see uh, the. Um cleric from the temple of mistra is like very huffily climbing the ladder up the wall to us yeah he it looks like he's gonna go onto the wall what's <laughs> that kid uh baxter <laughs> no. the sneezy one? <laughs> yeah and then you hear him sneeze <laughs> And they kind of. Uh, hey, uh, Beck. Oh, yeah. Hey, Chalita. How are you? Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Chalita's your sister. This is Chalata. Yeah. <laughs> Daughter of Chili's. <laughs> Never not easy. <laughs> um, you, you need something on the wall? Do you Yeah, I have to um I have to set up a um like a like a ritual thing here. It's important for the defenses of the wall. Like, All right. Yeah. Is there like another yeah. guard or anybody who's clocked this kid, like just to make sure that? Yeah, someone nods, like oh, okay. the weirdos here. Yeah, well, it's all yours. We just got done with that. Actually. Oh, okay, cool. And he'll kind of he keeps kind of like looking at Autumn and then looking back at Chidara, like, eh, eh. Go. Uh, Autumn leans forward. Are you hitting on me? <laughs> No. Um, Are you hitting on her? No. <laughs> um, no. <clears throat> um, Go do well, your dark business. It's not dark. It's mistress good. Well, can I? Can you move? <laughs> kind of do like that. <laughs> do that awkward like full leg swing. Like he, like he can't really get out of the pool. And then. Eh. Um, yeah, and he'll, he'll kind of take a couple steps forward, stop, and he'll turn around again, and he says, um, I, I could use an extra pair of hands for a second, could, like, what do you help me? Yeah, you got a <laughs> telescope you need us to carry up, what? Uh, no. Um... <laughs> uh, <laughs> puts his telescope back in his bag no <laughs> um no. yeah we don't have a lot of time but yes yeah, so, yeah. uh what, what do you need uh okay he'll hand you a piece of chalk and he'll say he needs you to draw a line to the other tower it's like a hundred feet or like not even it's like 
30 feet. You just have to draw a little line in chalk. Sure. This is for the defense of the town, you say? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll, like, just walk it to the tower? Yeah. <laughs> I okay. guess. Like, just... uh, and as soon as you are, like, five paces away, uh, he will turn to Autumn and say, uh, hey, I didn't want to blow up your spot, as the kids say. I have to learn slang for outreach programs. Anyway, um, this is the better version of that pushy cleric we met in Potsam, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it is. That's nice. You, you seem happier that we were there, but I mean, then again, there was terrible. I'm, it's really wet. It looks like you caught a cold. Yeah. From, you know. I don't think the transition has done me good, and you know. Well, I mean, you shouldn't have gone from being wet to the cold. I didn't just... have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> I was starting to even like adventuring, and I had met Lorez. You know, kind of look up into space. One hey, day... yeah, Lorez, he's excellent. One day, Lorez, <laughs> we'll be together again. <laughs> And you were Promise. nice. It was, it, yeah. But now I'm here. Anyway, I just wanted to say, th this seems nice, and she seems nice, and she does seem better than that pushy cleric. And she's coming back now, so I'm going to pretend like we were talking about something else. And he'll pull out a book, <laughs> and he'll say, uh, "Since you're friends with the Hester, if you could get this side, that would actually be great." Is that good enough? Yeah, that's great. All right, well, here's your chalk. Thank you. Is it magic? Do I have to wash the magic off or anything? No. It, it, it... Yeah, you know, you probably should. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and he hands you some red leather-bound book that says, There and Back Again, A Hester's Journey, A Story of, Le <laughs> a story of Leaving Green Hilly and Fulfilling Hestiny. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. And he'll kind of stomp off and start drawing little <clears throat> symbols and runes. Autumn will uh, link arms with Jadara and turn her back towards the exit to, to wherever we came up and, and whisper, he was definitely hitting on me. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah, right? I got that vibe too. <laughs> oh, great, Miss Trip. <laughs> he'll be somebody's type. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, go uh, go back down and head back to the north. Look, okay. right, that one's ours. Yep, yep. Um, so I back, follow. Uh, make a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen. Okay. Anything notable, Chidara? Oh. Uh, Less than that, but okay. not by much. It was actually a pretty good roll, but it's not. She's distracted by subterfuge again. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I'm um, just shivering because it's cold as all. <laughs> Autumn, you do not believe you are being followed. <laughs> okay. Uh, back at the North Look. Um, and Fyra said she wanted to follow that person. And Katra, you wanted to talk to the person at the bar? Yeah, the one who was, you said they looked passed out. Uh, yeah, they're kind of slumped over. Right. Um, so, let me think. Check for a pulse. Uh, they're alive. They're just blackout drunk. Oh, uh, okay. What are they? What's their... Uh, you would say half-elven. Uh-huh. What, what, uh, what class do they present? Wizard. Uh... Pointy hat. Okay. I have a pointy hat. You do have a pointy hat. I do. I walk over. Uh, hey. Hey, how you doing? You all right there, friend? Yeah. What? Do you need some water? Oh. Fresh squeeze. 
<laughs> and she'll kind of shoot her head up and say, one more, and then head back down. Oh, no. <laughs> and the bartender will slide over a tankard of ale for her. Wow, this guy just works. Still working. Lots to stuff happen? Okay. Yeah, and she'll uh, 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 she'll knock it over and then just kind of put her mouth sideways and let it <laughs> seep into her mouth. It's a good technique. I had a cat that did that kind of stuff. Smart. Smart. It's the economy of movement. <clears throat> Work with what you got and where you are. Can you, uh, can you tell me what your name is? I definitely have a name. Good. It's a start. But I'm not supposed to tell anyone what it is. Oh. Why is that? <laughs> I was waiting for him to figure that out. <laughs> and... <laughs> What's that? And she'll kind of... Because I'm hiding. Oh, well, I can see you. And she'll cast invisibility on herself. Uh, uh, <laughs> Counterspell. Uh, and she'll say, What? Did you just counterspell me? Huh? Well, I look behind me. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> How many napkins are being thrown at me? Uh, three, but I got... There. Is there... <laughs> Someone's throwing paper. I thought the fight was over. I cast paper. I cast paper. <laughs> ah! I cast scissors. No. Uh, uh, she'll just kind of. Oh, uh, you're uh, you're a toucher, aren't you? I can tell. Oh, okay. for sure. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I can't really do that. I'm, yeah. It's cool. Um. Okay. Uh. <laughs> and fire it. Uh, you step outside, and what would you like to do? Do I still see the person? Uh, make a perception check. Oh boy. Uh, nineteen. Okay. Uh, yeah, you see them jump into an alleyway. Dang it! So they're out of my line of sight. Uh. Yes, but you saw which alley they went into. Okay, can I face step after them? Sure. And can I use my 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 thingy, my your charm? My charm bullshit to charm them at the end of it. Uh, oh, please. it's just all shit suit makes up, and we keep letting her get away with it. Pause <laughs> to look up bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Blame Morden kind of. Uh, I blame Bolo and Xanathar and Morden Kynan. All of these guidebook specialists. <laughs> okay. Uh, what kind of save is it? It's. Uh, hold on. I should have this. Hold on. Wizka. Uh, Wizka. My book. <laughs> it's so far away. I got it. Okay. I was gonna say I can reach it, but it'll take me a minute. I believe it's charisma. You are autumn. <laughs> uh, wisdom saving throw. Uh, wisdom. You believe that they succeed on their wisdom saving throw. Drat. Okay. But am I, like, right next to him now? Uh, yeah, you turn the corner, and there is no one there. Hmm. Okay. Um, divine sense? Okay, uh, you sense no fiends, uh, celestials, or undead. Well, shit. They can't have just disappeared. What other bullshit do I have? Uh, 
cast so many spells. I guess just like look up or look around, try and see them. Okay, uh, give me an investigation check. Oh, I believe I am terrible at those. All right. A ten. Okay. You're looking around and you're kind of like looking behind trash cans and past dumpsters, and you hear click, click, as a drow fades into view from being invisible and has a gun pointed at your head. Oh, great. <laughs> And there's just a discarded Spider-Man costume in one of the trash cans. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, Is there somebody sadly walking away from the alley? Cast yes. Out? You know? Spider-Man, oh you yeah. no more. No more. <laughs> um, I'll go hands up and say, I don't believe you want to do that. Give me one reason not to. Give me one reason why you do. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. No, nailed it. <laughs> no one's ever asked me that before. <laughs> well, how okay. don't I? Huh. My whole life's a sham. No, it's <laughs> not. I've been paid to hunt you. <laughs> Do I distract him long enough that I can knock it away? <laughs> uh, give me an athletics check with disadvantage. Dang it. It's okay, I'm quite good at athletics. Ooh, not that good, though. Uh, a nine? Okay, uh, he successfully pulls the gun away from your judo chop <laughs> attempt to disarm him. Judo chop! <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Uh, shit. <laughs> yeah. And he'll kind of... Yeah. Was that an Elvin or Comet? <laughs> Just... <coughs> gun at your head. What? So, what What are we doing here? What? What's going on here? Break this situation down for me. I have a gun pointed at your head. You don't. You don't get to ask me questions. Yeah, you're not special. What are we? What are we doing here? <laughs> Bringing that kill realness right now. Hold, please. I have to look up how much damage a gun does. <laughs> oh no! It's two d six. Uh, well, they have they have different. <laughs> if, it's, if it's the same, if it's the same gun as an artificer. <laughs> Draw bullets. Are um, different. Yeah. Okay, so take nine piercing damage. Uh huh. And eleven poison damage. Yowie. Oh, there's no save on that poison damage. Nope. Where? Because uh, no, it's been embedded in your <laughs> inside. Oh of you. yeah. <laughs> it's where very you efficient delivery system. Oh, um, I can't like yeah. shield us a reaction or anything. Uh, uh, oh. I rolled a twenty-three to hit. Well, damn, twenty-three would be my armor class with shield. Mm. So, you say you're not special and just click bang. <laughs> <laughs> but think of the emotional damage you did to him, and he'll <laughs> click click, and now <laughs> just again gun pointed at you. And oh say, my god! <laughs> well, that had to make a lot of noise, though, oh, right? It did. Yeah. it did for sure. <laughs> when I can, I would like to um, explode out of the alley wall like the Kool Aid Man. You know, like the- <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> uh, sure, Bram can do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Using your thunder powers? Shatter? Yeah, thunder wave, yeah. Yeah, shatter or thunder wave? Or shatter. Yeah, yeah, shatter. <laughs> you run right past, like, the gnome insurance assessor at the bar. It's like, <laughs> adding more stuff. <laughs> so I don't know when I can do that, but I'll have to make a con save once. 
<laughs> 15. He will succeed on his con save. Yeah. So it's going to be 13, so he takes half, so that's 6. Ow! Throw a wall at me! Who does that? <laughs> Drop the gun! <laughs> <laughs> a great follow up. Yeah. He's doing that thing where he's kind of pointing it between the two of you, and then he reluctantly drops the gun and puts his hand up. <gasps> I'm taking Damn. the gun! Yeah, there's that gun you wanted. <laughs> Yay! Okay, I'll get you pistol stats. In a Breeze! <laughs> Keep your hands where I can see him. Pram's picked it up and is pointing it <laughs> at himself. I'm just going to start shooting him. Pow, 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 oh, pow, God. pow! Okay. <laughs> Really? I want to see. <laughs> make, make a ranged <laughs> weapon. Make ranged weapons attacks. Oh, this is how it works. You pull the trigger and just bam, 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 bam. <laughs> He's not proficient though, right? Um. Yeah, also, you have to reload in between shots. You do. Right? Oh, really? You do. <laughs> he cocks it to the side. Is it like a? Is it like a rod and ball and like all that stuff or? So it's bam, click, 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 click. You know what, actually? Okay, so if it's not loaded, I'll take it like and hit him in the back of the head with the hilt. You know? There we go. Okay, classic. <laughs> uh, so make a, <laughs> make a melee weapon attack. <laughs> oh, uh, 23. Okay, that's a hit. Oh my god, poor bastard. He didn't just shoot and fire. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> I know. Um, okay, so he'll get hit in the he back of the head. Triggered. And he'll say, Seriously. ow, that really hurt. <laughs> Time for some police brutality. Yep. But it does like four Stop. damage. Oh, God. <laughs> give him a stomping on him while the crowd gathers. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Um, Somebody bring in Bram. <laughs> everyone's got their sending stones out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick my head through the Bram-shaped Kool-Aid hole in the wall, <laughs> and like casually spark up a twisty and just be like. Oh, <laughs> Is the guy like? Uh, Apprehended? I, if, you need Bram, my help? if Bram is gonna keep beating him, then I yeah, I guess he's apprehended. And I want I want to get any ammo he has on. Okay. Him or smoke powder yeah, he's got a a little pouch uh, full of black powder and and bullets. So. And fire, are you? Uh, how are you there? Um. What happened? I'm better, but- I'm fine, and I was... would like to brush myself off, but be casting Cure Wounds as I do it. Okay. Nice. Skywalker move. Uh, are you... Uh... Okay. So, was that was that smoke powder I smell? I do believe he shot me. So, if we could <laughs> uh, wrap him up and uh, maybe an interrogation is in order. I'm not quite sure how y'all do this. But... Um, well... Let's see how we do. This guy's conscious? Uh, yes. Bra- uh, Bram, are you? It would take a long time for Bram to beat him unconscious. Which he <laughs> can. I'm not saying he can't. I'm just right. saying it's going to take a while. We could take a short rest in- while it's happening. <laughs> the rest of us. <laughs> uh... Just to freak him out. Let's make like a chalk outline around his body. <laughs> well, I'll just we, move so we... it'll be wrong. The snow. Like, <laughs> the snow. Hold still. Hold still. <laughs> are, we're being are, really passive we... aggressive right now, Drow. Are we doing this <laughs> in the inn or in the street? or? Oh, we should take him somewhere. Is the inn a good spot? I mean, with all this wreckage. I mean, are the rooms intact? I mean, we do have rooms. Yeah, I want to take him into the. Is Hester still with us? No, Hester is off doing a separate thing. Okay, so can we use your room, Bram? Sure. My bed's not made, but 
<laughs> do you want to do you want to take a minute before we go in? No, no, it's it's okay. Let's go. Really, really, it's okay. It's clean bed is too good for you. You know, I'll do. I'll do it. I'll make. The, <laughs> I'll make the I'll clean bed. It's you just know? scattered with fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, crumpled pages and like little sketches of you guys kissing and shit. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, coming up with the bizarre last name fusion. Bramtholomew, chapter three. (laughs) The boy who lived. Uh, It's not derivative. You're derivative. (laughs) (laughs) So, all right. Well, and this is a a male draw. Yes. Is it? It's not your axle, is it? No. No. But okay. No, you guys no, did not. Just well, I was gonna drugs. say. Well, we met him. Before. We met him. Before. Is this gonna be uh, like a Reservoir Dogs thing where we tie him to a chair, start dancing around? Do you nobody want to? cut off anybody's ear. I'm not okay, there, right. but don't. <laughs> right. Can we um, play hello. Russian roulette with this gun? Can you do that? No, no, because it's, it's it's a single sh- shot. It's a single <laughs> shot. <laughs> 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 You can. Uh, it's a real short it's, game. Is it loaded? I that's, saw you yeah. load it, so please don't that's shoot me. Maybe a, you want to take a, a chance? A, a current day update to Russian Roulette, maybe? <laughs> it's like one shot. Here you go. See if you miss. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys are terrible at this. I mean, you caught me. I'll give you that part. <laughs> this is the worst interrogation I've ever been a part of. How so do you know? Sloppy. This isn't part of our whole thing. <laughs> Do um, we have any truth spells or anything like that? Oh, uh, I have one of those. Oh, okay. Do you have? Uh, do you have the Z of S? I'm finally high enough level. <laughs> awesome, awesome. I'll see if I can catch up. I uh, <laughs> So, just tell the truth, man. <laughs> Come you on, man. We're all am friends. I, am I supposed to have made a charisma save by next? I'm not. <laughs> okay. So, you guys, you guys drag this dude upstairs, lock him in Bram's room. Uh, Bartholomew follows you. <laughs> nice. Because it's the thing that's happening. Uh, he can be the guy who's like, yeah, like whatever Bram says, whatever he says yeah. to the guy. I will, oh, he's like, I will help you yeah. scare the shit out of him. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> well, Tone down the erudition. That can be a surprise we spring on him for later, maybe. Was, just was thinking, Bartholomew just thinking tactically? Yeah. Was Bartholomew impressed by how Bram jumped through that wall? He was. <laughs> All right. Plus ten shipping. I'm yeah. gonna make <laughs> loosen his <laughs> sack <laughs> collar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. under the sack collar. I don't want to know about that. We can't talk about sack collars on stream. Uh, <laughs> okay, so you guys show feet. <laughs> uh, but moist hands was okay. <laughs> what, what are the ogre's <laughs> moist like? finger, right? Uh, they're big, <laughs> blocky stone, Hulk, Hulk right, feet. flint stone feet. Oh, oh yeah. Um, Same thing. How central? <laughs> Someone, toddler feet someone's like, into it too um, big someone's okay. into it so you guys drag him upstairs <laughs> um chadara and autumn at this point you guys have walked around the corner and hester is staring into the bar kind of looking around like well the fun happened while i was gone and she's just kind of yep. scanning the bar and chadara she leans over to you <laughs> and says I think I know that woman at the bar. Did you hear thunder a second? Uh, uh, what woman at the bar? That one. She'll say, Chadri bought her once. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound right. Do, uh, do I recognize awesome. her? Is she at a bad angle? Like I, what? She is at a bad angle, but then she kind of flops up and her head lolls back. And yeah, this is your Aunt Lita. I'm sorry, Aunt Lita. 
Yeah, she's my... That's how Chidara knows her, so far yeah, at least. Yeah. She's heard some conflicting reports. That's my Aunt Lita. That was it. Wait, Chadri bought her? <laughs> okay, we don't have time. <laughs> uh, rush in. Okay. The quest is done. The world's a saved. Um, Lita... I spill her blood on a dragon. Uh, I don't have the dragon egg. See. Now I look like... No, uh, <laughs> you can you can get a little blood now. Uh, yeah, no, oh, uh, no, yes, we need the person. Uh, now it's mostly alcohol right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh right. Uh, <laughs> why are all these chairs broken? Where is my team? Was what that thunder? To the bar. Yeah, I've got a lot of questions. Step over a person. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lita will loll her head back, and she'll say. Oh my god, you've grown up so much and give you like the sloppiest hug. My little okay. girl. It's, it's good to see you too, Lita. Do you know we've been looking for you? Oh, have you? That's weird. I've been looking for you. Oh, because you're looking for me. I remember now. Oh, you got my eyes. Great. <laughs> She'll look at you. <laughs> you got my eyes. No. I don't. What? Okay, you are. Remember you being a drinker. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I get like this when your mom's not around. Okay. Okay. We all. Yep. And okay. then, yeah, you can see her eyes start to get glassy. Okay. Well, looks real at least. Okay. Okay. Uh, Lita, um, I need you to be with me. Focus. On the one of me in the middle, hopefully, and we need you to get. Yep, you're almost there. Yep. Uh, nope. Yeah. Uh, uh, warmer. Okay. Great. There I am. Okay. Oh boy. Uh, Brant. Does anybody have lesser restoration? <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, Lita, it's great to see you. Uh, we're, you're, oh, my, oh my god, you too. You're in danger, but we can save the world. How does that sound? Positive. That well, I don't know what I expected. That's, yep, that's, yeah. That sounds like a good plan. Uh, I don't want to not save the world. Did you know I helped save the world once? I did more than helped, apparently. I did know that or learned that very recently. You're a you're a damned hero, Lita. And you walked into this bar at some point. Did it. I said the name of the episode. <laughs> That's a free natural funny for me. For all credits. <laughs> <laughs> um Okay. Can you teleport to a place you've never been um how did you get yeah. here where's my mother sure oh she told me lita you have to stay safe you have to go hide and then cast a bunch of spells on yourself and i said but what about you and she said i have some other business to deal with apparently i didn't kill tea and tea and bad hard enough the first time and i said well that's weird because you definitely did and she said i know tip to taint right tip to taint and i said you got it honey and then we hugged and um, then your sister, I heard, was looking for me and your dad talked about it and he's not happy that we're still living in the garage. Um, <laughs> oh, hey, Shadara. Hey, Lita. This is great. We're going to get you a long rest and... We're going to save the world. I helped save the world once. Okay, great. You know what? That's great. Starts <laughs> actively like lost her patience a little bit. Like, mm-hmm. Let's, okay. let's just get her upstairs and get her to bed. <laughs> yeah. We need the rest of our team. Uh, you there, bartender. Yeah. How long has she been here? Hey. Uh, Four or five hours. 
Wow. Okay. Wooden leg. Uh, second, where's my team? Uh, they busted a hole through my wall. You'll be paying for that. And they dragged some dude upstairs. Uh, they dragged some dude upstairs? Yeah. Okay. Uh, put Lita on my shoulder. Okay. <laughs> and carry her up to uh, our room, Autumn and mine. Okay. Put her in a bed. Uh, as... As Autumn and Shadar are passing the room, what might they be hearing in it? And Fyra, Bram, and Katra. <laughs> I like to think I have my gun to my head, like trying to make it like I'm crazy, you know? Like, anything can happen right now. <coughs> Bram, I can just zone a truth him. It's okay. We don't... You know, like, I'll try and flip it, like, in my, you know, like a gunslinger. <laughs> you, hear, like doing... you hear a gunshot go off and the a hole is blasted through a door. Oh, that's where that thunder came from. Bram. Uh, uh, poison bullets. Hmm? I thank you for poison saving bullets. me, but I'm going to need you to calm down now. you got to reload this thing now. you, you got a rush of adrenaline, and I need you. You're up here. I need you to be, like, <laughs> under the sea right now. Ooh. Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, under the sea, uh, really? I'm fire with everybody else. Um, uh, no, no, Bram. Uh, kick the door I pass and like betas. Oh, Wait. Oh, Chuck. Oh, hey, but I, I, got, I, I have to drop Chief, Lita in the room. Cap, who is that? Oh, it's her. Yeah, I found <laughs> Lita. That's Lita. Yeah. I spoke Don't say with it's I Bob. It. Don't say it so loud. This is Bob. Oh, it's Bob. <laughs> well, wait, didn't we blame it on Bob? This is Dave. Jerry. Shadara. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. Awesome. Listen, we, we got a situation. We got someone was tailing and, and, and shot and fire. Uh, but um, oh, you guys... apprehended. And, oh, this is uh, Bartholomew. Just join the squad, uh, pending your approval. Uh, he will take your hand and say, Enchanté. He's French. Uh, welcome. It's a kind of drow. Thing. Aboard? You're a big fella. Uh, what? What has happened since y'all? Yeah. We had a good, it was a good afternoon. Morning. When I said what find out more about Brigham Darth, I didn't mean take one <clears throat> hostage, but great job. Like, really high marks all around everybody. I have to take my aunt to a bed. Hey, you know what? Hester's is open. <laughs> That's right. Let's all stay around because we don't want to. If it is uh, Bob, then we want to be sure that you know. Yeah. You know, Bob. Bob's for our apple. Attention. Okay. It's for our Bob. Um, you know, if we're gonna be keeping her in here with the apprehended one, do we want to check him for more? Can I suggest we stop planning in front of him? I'm, I'm suggesting to take his weapons. I'd like to vote against that plan. I, I'm in the I, hallway. Well, there are no bad ideas. <laughs> you can oh, where's that? He's that. leaned over and like his chair has <laughs> fallen over so he can like listen to you guys. Look, look, man. Don't, don't. You know, you don't want to know about Mr. Squinty here because he'll wrap you up like a pretzel. Okay, so don't get any ideas about slipping through the floorboards or drinking sideways. Okay, somebody just check him for more web. Okay. Yeah, well, did, I write his chair. Did we check him for weapons? Uh, you did not. We took Let's check. Person. I'm going to check him for weapons. Is that investigation? Uh, money. Uh, yeah, give me an investigation or perception check. Okay. Uh, is... Leave a 13. Okay. Uh, you find a uh, short sword in a holster and a dagger in his boot. And he has on him... Uh, 62 gold. Hmm. Take that. Put it on the kitty. It, yeah, that's going to pay for Linda's <clears throat> cab, apparently. Um, well, look, I searched him once, but maybe someone else should take a look at him, too. I don't know. Bob's tab. Uh, I can take a look at him also. Yeah. Um, Ooh, that's not good. Ten. Okay, yep. Yeah. You find no other weapons. Okay. 
and Bram right. has uh, the gun and all the bullets. <laughs> okay. So. Hey, you, Dick. He's a dark elf, right? He's a drow, right? Yes. And it's sunny out, right? Uh, yeah, he was. He kind of had like a, a big hood and kind of a wide brimmed hat. Let's take that off. You want a sunshine board? <laughs> open the window. Oh, open the window a little bit. Yeah, and he starts to kind of oh. squirm uncomfortably. Feels um, good. Let's lay him back on his back and just sort of slide the chair out so his head is sticking out of the window. Oh, that's... I think this is against... The sun's in his eyes? <laughs> Some conventions. Okay, okay, I, don't go to, I don't go to conventions. I'm unconventional. <laughs> Again, uh, where this is all unnecessary. Where did you guys I find this guy? Mind. Oh, yeah. oh! All right. Well, let's do zone of truth. Can, yeah, can I just cast oh. zone of truth. Yeah, <laughs> but now if there's a saving throw involved, he has disadvantage because of sunshine. Mm. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoops. Maybe. Well, whoops. Fate is your. Yes. You're you're escalating without asking a question first. I feel like, <laughs> but yeah, we can zone of truth them and keep him in the sun to keep him uncomfortable. Before we... I, I didn't know he was sensitive to sunlight. Why is there a hole in the ceiling? And what is that smell in here? Uh, it's, uh, it's smoke powder and uh, some twisty. Do you want some? Uh, yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, he had on, some dude. illegal firearms, but don't worry. We've relieved him of that. Perfectly legally obtained Lantanese firearms. Do you have a... Do you have a, a sur- uh, is he under the zone yet? Do you have paperwork to that effect? No, no. You don't? Doesn't it require paperwork? This could be a zone of truth test. Doesn't it require paperwork? I mean, I can no. tell if they failed it. <laughs> he did not fail. He, he, or I'm sorry, he failed his saving throw. He okay. has to tell so the he, truth. Okay. Yeah, he's... We can ask him whatever, because... How do you like the sunshine, sunshine? Uh, he'll just stare at you can't see me though because he's dazzled all right i'll bring him inside look why'd you shoot my friend he'll just stare at you oh i believe i was mouthy at him and he got offended by it wait did you fail your own save (laughs) (laughs) no i willingly give up that information okay in Uh, thieves can't in thieves can't autumn is going to ask him what do you want with us, and is there a way we can stop it? Uh, he kind of cocks his head and looks at you. As if, as if he did not understand that. Oh, oh well, great. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe try that in a common language. I repeat it in common. Uh, he will just stare at you. Oh, great. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Zone of Truth doesn't um, make you tell Annie, say anything. Translation, please. Nothing. Um, <clears throat> hey, uh, Brigandar. You work for Jarlaxel? With him? Did you see us in the tunnel? All right, I'm going to slap him. I had a patience, but now it's done. I would like to slap him in the face. Okay. Uh, roll a d4. <coughs> Can you throw a smite on that? A d4? Yeah. Three. Okay. Slap. You now you of... will answer the misses. Come on, these are the easy ones, even. Okay. Uh... uh... Pull him to the window again and stick his head out the window again. Okay. Uh, You can see, yeah, he's doing his best to kind of keep his eyes closed and his head as far in as possible. Okay, I'm going to start tickling him. (laughs) Okay. He's he's tied up, right? I'm going to get him right in his ribs. I'm going to get him right in there. Good cop, weird cop, where are you? That's right. I'm the weird (laughs) cop. See the hat? Uh, What's that saving throw, Andrew? Where does the window that we're sticking him out of face? Uh, Hopefully the sunny side of the street. Yeah, I, let, let's say... The, <laughs> yeah, but is it in a main street? Can people 
see it? No, it is, it is one of the back streets. <clears throat> oh, they're back, alright. What, where I'm just... I don't know. <laughs> I'm airing yeah. out a grievance. Nailed it. If Autumn peeks her head out the window, does she see anybody out there or down there? <clears throat> uh, no. She sees no one. Uh, uh, he'll start to laugh and uh, as he does uh, he starts to say a couple of uh, magic words can I Uh slap my hand over his mouth sure I'm gonna keep tackling him is this contested or something Uh, Uh, yeah give me a oh no because he's tied up you can just do it okay Right. Bring him in real quick, Corporal. Is he still laughing, really? Uh, he was chuckling. It was... Does it seem real... tickle, tickling motivated, or is he scoffing at my... I, he tried okay. to cast a spell in response to you tickling him. <clears throat> what do you, I wonder what he was going to cast. What would, what would you cast to combat tickling? Might be Tosh is hideous. Make or me no, laugh? a bad joke for that. Right. I'm going to keep... Siddhar t- doesn't know. Can I tickle him? Um... No? Just to kind of right his chair, but kind of keep him in indirect sunlight. My hand over his mouth. Hey, listen. Do you really get paid enough for all of this horseshit? He'll kind of nod. Fuck. Well, we're doing this for free, you know? So, like, that doesn't really compare. The, the brigand are come very well. Uh, do you do you know Jarlaxel Bainry? Let off his his mouth, but be prepared in case he in nominees anything. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm ready. For, I'm ready for any magic. Okay. Do you know Jarlaxel Bainry? Man. Yeah. Do I have to make a saving throw, or I always forget how this one works? Do you have to? Do you choose? Or you don't. I actually think this is just a zone. For zone of truth, if you want to fail, I'd let you fail. <clears throat> no, I don't necessarily want to. I'm going to. I guarantee that. But uh, but, yeah, but anyone in it has to make the save. Is that yeah, right? I, I failed. So, uh, is that so I'm gonna be like, too? look, man, I don't want to hurt you because that's the truth. Uh, <laughs> um, and I'm, I don't really have it in me to do a whole prolonged thing um but i also kind of like shouldn't let you live and i mean i guess if you feel well compensated enough or this guy's really got your loyalty i just want to know what's his problem with us and what's his deal with the dragon cult that can't be given away too much right uh he'll say it's just business yeah. Because you were hired? I got an itchy trigger finger. Did you make your save? <laughs> How far away can I be without having to make a save? I think if you're uh, in the room, you have to make some. What's the, what's the save? 10 or 15. It's charisma. a charisma saving throw. I rolled a 9. I'm not holding anything back. Uh, I got a plus 1. <clears throat> I failed it. I'll nervously look at the ogre. Keep my yap shut. Uh, uh, did here's... Bartholomew pass? He this failed. might be important. All right. Um. So, so here's the truth. Uh... No one is paid enough to die. That's something I've learned as a soldier. No one is paid enough to die. And I'm sure that you aren't paid enough to die, friend. Maybe we should just make friends with him. I'm open. Uh, Give him one. Yeah. Twisty. Uh, Hester will say, <laughs> that's a great idea. And she'll point at him and cast friends. <laughs> I was really worried about what she was going to cast. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it could have been finger of death. Yeah. It could have been friends. It's really yeah. hard uh, to tell sometimes. 
<laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> wait, which one was the good idea? Yeah, um, <laughs> him dying or him being a friend? Him being a friend. Were we not <laughs> killing him? Uh, oh. He's already half disintegrated, but... His head, his head's still there. I'll cast the Speak part that's <laughs> <laughs> Um. Okay, so... Yeah, so he smiles, and he's kind of like, I hate all of you. Yeah, yeah. But I don't, because I'm magically compelled to like all of you. Yeah, or at least the Hester. Alright, so you were hired by the Dragon Cult recently? Uh... Yeah, he'll or filter this through the Hester if I have to. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, he'll say uh, a ten day ago. Okay, is that a line with making a run on Bryn Shandar, or is it happy happenstance? Uh, he says uh, the boss has uh, been put off a water deep. Uh, it, he got the stiff arm too long. So he's looking for a different angle, and Bryn Shandar's easy pickings. It's the newest member of the Lord's Alliance. It's, you know, backwater compared to pretty much every other member. And he just wants to be a member of the Lord's Alliance? Yeah. Well, as far as this guy knows, anyway. All right, so is, Jarlac is Jarlaxa with a guy named Strath right now? Uh, as far as I know, yeah. Where, where are they? The boarding house? Uh, <clears throat> he says, uh, last night they were, but they, I think they, or they left the city this morning. After setting up the warehouse? Yeah. Where'd that fucking dragon come from? The cult provided it. They summoned it. Gross. From the abyss. <laughs> Look how you really bit into that middle syllable. All right. What's your name? Uh... Every DM's favorite question. I know. Uh, <laughs> Daryl. <laughs> but it's got like a Y and a bunch of uh, apostrophes in it. Sure. Duh. Arrow. <laughs> Duh. Arrow. Duh. Yeah. <clears throat> Better write that down so I don't forget. Yeah. <laughs> Daryl. What's your What's your position in Bragan, Daryl? Uh, he says he's mostly a runner. Who do you report to? Uh, not Jarlaxle. Garol. Yeah, Garol. Uh, are are you supposed to kill us or just follow us? Uh, I'm supposed to keep tabs on you, and if I saw an opportunity to strike, I tried to kind of. They didn't work very well. Tried to pick you off a little bit. Yeah. You picked the wrong one. Apparently. Yeah. Probably the highest hit points in the group and highest armor. It's real... I mean, to be fair, take out the toughest one first. I get that, but... Yeah, first rule of combat, tank dies first. Yeah, nope. Wizard. Oh. Every time. Uh, healer. No. No offense. Katra. It's, it's okay. I mean, it just means I'm... I'm valued commodity that should be taken out of the equation. Yeah. Yeah. It, really <clears throat> I get it. I'm, I'm yeah. not really good in these situations. Healer's like good this. too. And fire a good point. Um, Alright, man. Well, I can't let you go um, and have you warning your bosses, but uh, I don't know. Why are you so far from the in under dark, it's not my business. It's not my business. Even under the zone of truth, it's, nah. So, if you were supposed to follow us or kill us, if you could, does that mean if we just left town, you wouldn't follow us anymore? Uh, he says that wouldn't be my job anymore now. Because you're assigned to this area, right? And who 
whose job would that be? I don't know. Can you take us to your, uh, who you report to? Where you would go? I can. And? What's yeah, your buddy. hesitance about? The minutes about up. Yeah. <laughs> um. Hey, can any of you cast the silence thing? That's really annoying when my sister does it. Uh, no. Damn. Yeah. All right. Um. He's tied to a chair, right? Yeah. Uh. I want to say Bartholomew. Yes, ma'am. You can you keep an eye on this guy real quick for us? Of course. Great. And uh, if she starts throwing up, just turn her over. <laughs> I understand. Great. Great. Uh, everybody in the hall. Okay. Or in, we can go down to Autumn and Mai's room since I took specifically enough rooms apart that we couldn't hear Bram's night terrors and Hester screaming. Or I, she, no, she uh, didn't want anybody. Just, you know, <clears throat> right. Okay. Um, what's up? Yeah, guys, we have got the goal. We don't need. We've got Lita. We take her back to the Sea of Moving Ice. I can oh. get the book back in like. At most four hours. We've got everything we need to do the thing. We don't need to fuck with Brigand. All of their shit's for naught right now. Because they're still looking for the person we have. Okay, so how far are we from there? Uh, three days? Three, three? Three days, yeah. yeah. Well, is there a way for us to shorten that? Well, we've got a cart and or a sleigh and one and a half dogs we can work in rooms I, I, I might have a solution to help hasten things a bit oh what's that I, I might be able to acquire a horse okay horses Shoot. for everybody or uh one but it might speed up the sled a bit okay sure but can a horse get over the snow? If it's a Clydesdale. The, the, horse, the horse that Enfira can get, yes. For sure. Same. Okay, well, that's a good idea. Yes, please. Alright. Um, uh, is there so a way what are you going to do about him, then? Well, him. Carl. I'd like you to let me lay <laughs> He, yeah. one, can I'm... still hear us. Or... No, wait, we're, no, we're, we're down the other Yeah, we, we, we moved. Just, um, he's just saying it in every few minutes. <laughs> oh, he's heard enough. Go. Hester's in know. there screaming Green Hilly folk songs at him. <laughs> Why don't we uh, just let him go? <laughs> he heard enough to know that we found Lita. Yeah. And I've no, been personally I'm... offended by And I have a feeling that's why we've been tailed and not assassinated. Yeah, it mm. could be. All right, well. Listen, I know what the answer is supposed to be, and I can't give my... I can't bring myself to say it. But I know what the answer is supposed to be. You want me to turn him into a frog? We bring oh, him to that was not my answer, but it's a better... Yeah, that would be okay. How long does he stay a frog? Uh, an hour, but, you yeah. know, if we put him in a jar, he's not going to want to not be a frog. Can we pay Bartholomew to keep watch of him for just enough days for us to take care of what we need to? Why are we interested in keeping this guy alive? He's a killer. He would have killed on fire. He would have killed you. He would have killed me. He would have killed all of us without he hesitation. He could have tried to kill me, but I mean... Not, no, 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 no diss on you. Should, should I, don't you know, like, people with jails here? Mm-hmm. Oh uh, yeah. I don't I don't know if that's gonna keep him forever. And I, I just I can't kill a man tied to a chair you I'll untie him from the chair. We okay. Well take uh, him out of 
that's the that's the letter of the law, not really the spirit of it. But <laughs> well, I have I know knots. Okay. <laughs> yep, yep, I get it. He's like, why are you I leaving me untied? <laughs> this is an old knot. Tie I tied the knots. I can yeah, untie them. I can. Untie My them. fear. One is pull. If we try to move him from this location, whoever's watching it is going to see him get moved. That's what I mean. It, well, I mean, it is daylight out, and they do not particularly like daylight, as I understand. That's true. As evidenced by the fact that they've been out and about in daylight this whole time. Do you yeah, want to we take were... him? What you want to take him with us? No, I don't mind turning him in. We could keep him tied to a chair and tell the guard that's where he is. But Brigandar's making some kind of move on this town. How do we know we're not being watched by his cronies? Oh, we. Do... I. You know, I would count like, on him at this point. Autumn and I were followed, maybe by this guy, but I don't think so. I mean, does he look familiar? No. Is it racist to ask that? Uh, one, yes. Two, yeah. he does not look familiar. No. Okay. Well, the other thing is, is like we really probably only got a good look at Jarlaxle tunnel because it was pitch, right? I mean, yeah. Some of us have well, Graham pitch, talked to one about whether he could buy his gun. Yeah, this doesn't right. seem like any of them because they didn't even speak common. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. What time of day is it, Andy? It's at least noon, right? I mean, at least... It's past noon. It's probably 3 okay. or 4 at this point. Okay. <clears throat> we start booking it out of town. Heading for the Sea of Moving Ice. All right. Is there a way we can disguise Wait. ourselves or hide ourselves? Hold on. Autumn. What if right now, I mean, we saw on our walk a lot of mercenaries sitting around being bored. Yeah. And from what I can tell, it looks like somebody's muscling them out of all their work. Yeah. If we promise them to get rid of the people muscling them out of work, or at least, you know, do something to thwart them, perhaps we can get the all the other mercenary teams to help us keep this under wraps, get out of town without being seen, and then take care of everything. This is a plan. It's a good one. I just don't want to put off our road trip to go to war with Brigandarth. What I say is we go to the mercenaries, tell them, hey, Brigandarth's your problem. Put them on that. Uh, unless that's what you meant, in which case, 100% Basically, yes. Basically, potato, I, potato. Yeah. yeah. We sent the mercenaries in this town looking for Brigandarth. Maybe that ties them up. I tell the guard, they got this guy in this room here and a chasm a mile and a half off their southern wall, which is how they're moving people. Right. They can come and get him. Kind of feel like I owe Nobby an, an answer because he's supposed to be watching for... Who's Nobby? Uh, Bravalier. Bravalier. Who's, um, who's Nobby? <laughs> oh, uh... uh Corporal or the guard. We made friends. He's oh, a, here, here in like of this human adjacent watch a human person. like creature. Uh, um, say no more. Say human, and that's enough. Get it? Guys are weird. Yeah. <coughs> um, human style guard creature. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um. So he was looking for Bravalier, but again, we have what they want. Sure. Right now, it's a race. Against the clock, right? Let's let's. Yeah. Well, look, my concern is like, if we're being watched, is there a way we can get out of town under some kind of cover, either via like an instant bamf or or disguise or something? Uh, Hester might know teleport. Lita might know teleport. Ooh. One's drunk, right? So we're gonna need a little time to elapse if we're gonna curry Lita's. Yeah. Abilities, but Hester is asleep. No, playing no, music. Hester's singing folk songs right now. I, I might have made that up. Yeah, that no, was my head. You candy. can just hear her strumming the guitar and like. <laughs> it's, wow, she's like. Thr it's more of a beautiful than a half lish. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, because we don't even have to go right to the sea of the moving of moving ice if we can just not be in Bryn Shandar without leaving the building, right? But I really like that sandal, and I have to do something with it. But 
Or some of these have? side quests have to fall by the wayside. But we uh, can we can post put a pin in that. I mean, I, yeah. I'll pay the bartender to who's stabling our sleigh. Is that what we would do? All right, let's try and figure out a way to teleport out of town. Yes. And we so make we can... a mad rush for the Sea of Moving Ice before they get there. Mind you, they have dragons sometimes. So, yeah. We'll keep our eyes to the sky, yeah. Well, we're going to have Lita with us, right? Isn't she some sort oh, of. Oh, yeah, she's going to be pretty much cat's part of this plan. Right, but I mean, she's got chops, yes? She was part of the Tiamat killing <laughs> squad. Of, yeah, right? I like. Look almost like magnetically north to her through the wall. The last time I saw her, she's in a state. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely a powerful wizard. Great. You got any hobgoblin hangover cures you know of? Or? Uh, yeah. Camp cures from my time as a devastator back when I was coming up. <laughs> It was part of testing. Yeah. They'd get us hammered, and then we had to like do exams, knowing full well we were hammered, because they got us that one. What were you going to say, Fire? Does the Hester maybe know what spell or something? That can well, she popped in here. I don't know if that means she can pop us somewhere else. I, I meant to get Lita out of her current state of being. Oh. Uh, you no. could probably heal her. She doesn't know lesser restoration or anything. She let the cleric do all that in her party. <laughs> what about the paladin, like, lay on hands, cure disease for five points? Can you spend five points to purge poison? <laughs> oh, can I do that? That, I is a, that is an ability for lay on hands, yes. Oh. Whether, right. or, whether or not it would cure how drunk she um, is. Right, is. You're right. She just feels fine. She's wasted. <laughs> yeah. It's worth a shot? Okay. I mean, Let's... I mean, the alternative is what? Waiting six hours. Yeah, yeah but waiting for her to sleep it off. There are, are already you... at least three of those thunder shots. They've got a radius. Um. We can ask the bartender if he has a magic hangover cure. <laughs> Sometimes they do. Uh, just go down the hall real quick and knock on the. Well, I I can I have the key. I open the door. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Hester, Hester, Hester. Stop real quick. Uh, you, do you, do you know how to magically transport people? Yeah. Okay, how many? Up to eight. Does a dog count as a person? I think it's creatures, so yes. I think we're good. Yeah. Uh, all right, scoop up, Lita. Bartholomew, you're doing great. Uh, Hester, a word? Am I, am I being paid for this? Uh, uh, which one of you is saying that? <laughs> Bartholomew? That was Bartholomew. <laughs> I was told you were on our team. Is that not true? Uh, yeah, but he... Uh, he uh... He's got rates, I was, specific set of rates. Oh, I was I told promise. the captain could I, pay me. Yeah. What are your rates? One fifty a week. We will let you know when he gets here. Uh, uh, turn around. <laughs> turn around with me. Walk out the room. Uh, trust me. Don't worry. We'll. Uh, we'll I give back. him. I give him twenty five gold and say that's for the day. <laughs> okay. Yeah. He'll take day rates. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, business has been real bad lately, yeah. so... Cash, cash <laughs> advance is probably more of a comfort anyway in this line of work. Spend it while you, you know, can get it. Uh, All right. Uh, so set up with the Hester in the other room. And actually, sorry, uh, Zombie, it's only uh, 15 because uh, a week in the Forgotten Realms is 10 days, so... Oh, right. You don't have to pay him okay. uh, 50, uh, 25. It's 15, but... I'm trying. I'm saving. I was trying to pay him a little bit more oh, so that he'll, he he'll take the more. But I was mm. yeah, yeah. I was just trying okay. to make sure. we'll do twenty Signing instead of twenty five. Okay. There, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Autumn puts out twenty five, and Chidara's like, "No, pull some of that back." <laughs> um, We're not writing a charity. Yeah. 
Really? You still gotta eat. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'll save it for after the stream. Someone try to remember that moment for me. Uh, <laughs> all right, so in the other room. Okay. You're like, we need to get to the Sea of Moving Ice. How does this teleport thing work? Can I tell you where we gotta go? Uh, if you describe it to me, I can try and teleport us there. Okay. Do we have any way to mind, mind connect so that she can see what you see in your memory? Do we have that? She doesn't. No, okay. All right. We should still contact the guards and the mercenaries. Person? We should still contact the guards and the mercenaries. We know it's possible. Uh, uh, what? It, it is not easier to teleport to a person. It has to be a dis uh, location. Okay. Um... All right. Autumn, you remember where we saw the mercenaries earlier? Yes. Like in the market and such. Yeah. All right. And Fyra, you gin up some anger in this bar. I saw some habos and gabos down there. Caught your backer up. Gin up some anger. Brigandar's driving the, out all the business and trying to make a run in this town. It's their town. It's their time or some other shit like it. Get them angry. Autumn hit the market. Do the same thing. Tell them they, the only reason that they're on street corners like noble and good prostitutes is because of Brigandar's. Get that fire burning. Uh, Bram, back her up. I'm going to hit the guards, tell them that we've got a Brigandarth up here. They've got a chasm a mile and a half off the southern wall, which may or may not be how they're getting in and out of here. And to be on alert because something's coming and let them know about the boarding house because Nobby's not going to. Um, and right now, no one's backing me up because I'm going to be with the guard. I'm going to be surrounded by guard. I feel pretty good about Okay, so are we all going to re reconnoiter back after a certain X of time? Yeah, or? I mean, if this can take less than an hour, <clears throat> fucking great. I would, I would love to be out of this damn town by sundown. Oh, I feel that you. might be a little optimistic, but well, if it's like three, it's a real shame because this town looks great at sundown. If you can get up on that north wall, it's not important. I love stay a good focused. sunset. Could we ask the Hester kindly to keep an eye on our precious package over in the other room? Yeah, Hester, do you mind? And Bartholomew. <laughs> yeah, well, right. Bartholomew's apparently paid up. Well, why don't we have Bartholomew watch our Bragandareth? Yeah. And yeah. Hester watch Lita. Yeah. I'd like to keep keep him in the same... All to, just, in the one uh, little one. I mean, we just met great. Bartholomew. Like no, we just fine. met him, so <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. Would um, Autumn or I know because we're both of the mercenary persuasion? Anything about the blue sigil that might make us feel otherwise about leaving him alone in this room with uh, the Spragandar fellow? Let's see. Uh, it says here they are terribly loyal to Jarlax shit. <laughs> <laughs> they are just, you know, his cousin. Jarlax shit is his cousin. Yeah. <laughs> Before we go, go ducks. Um, uh, you would both know that they are uh, they are a mercenary organization composed entirely of ogres. Take from that what you will. <laughs> Look, he seems nice, but they're mercenaries. They do like uh, to get paid if this fucker offers him more money. <laughs> I don't want to leave him alone in a room together. We gotta together. make sure to gag him, yeah. Oh, that's all good. Yeah, I agree. Just leave him in there with somebody we trust, and then Bartholomew who can hit hard. Right. <laughs> well, if we think right. that Hester can handle the whole package, then he can come with us. We can keep an eye on him. Yeah, the Hester, do you mind keeping an eye on Lita here? I'll leave. She says and that's even, agreeable. I'll kind of get down on one knee of like, kind of thanks, kind of lean in and be like, listen, if my sister says it's like, cool for you to leave, like, please don't do that yet. Cause it's just, yeah, w wait until this part happens. For, like, that I, would be great. I understand. 
Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Betas, break. Okay. Uh, Get the hell out of Bryn Shandar. And Beta Shandar. Breakers. More B words. That's where we'll end the episode tonight. Uh, outros and plugs. Zom. Hi, I'm Zom. I write things. Go find them all on my website, zombarber.com, and follow me online at Zombalog everywhere. Y'all do it. Yay. Yay. Soup. Hi, I'm Soup, aka Soupska, on Twitter and Instagram. I do artwork. I did artwork for this channel. I do artwork online. I did a lot of doodles recently. I will be doing more, hopefully, in the coming weeks. So, check that out. Y'all do it. Uh, Timothy. Hi, I'm Timothy at Timothy Magic. Uh, uh, Twitter, Timothy McCallum Reynolds on Instagram. Uh, I draw, I make stuff. I did Bartholomew, since this is stream sketch today. <laughs> <laughs> this. Um, it's sort of like when we first met him. him. Uh, so that, that's, I do stuff. Like How that. he appears in Bram's dreams. Exactly, exactly. That skull belt. <laughs> oh, I didn't me. see you come in. <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> I'm about this, for company. this old thing. <laughs> I love it. Um, that's it for me. Uh, Sean, it's my turn. Yep. <laughs> oh hi. <laughs> you know, we made a lot of jokes about guns today, but gun safety is no laughing matter. Make sure never to point the muzzle, and and when you're handling poison bullets, wear gloves. If you enjoyed this show, I would really love it if you would join me again tomorrow on the Greyhawk channel at 1 p.m. Eastern. Because we're going to learn about some secrets to Castle Greyhawk. And here's a fun fact for you. I finally figured out the whole deal with the campaign, finally, uh, the other day. And so now it's like, okay, now I know what we're doing. So it only took 21 sessions, but uh, I've, got a, I've got a plot now. So you might want to check it out now. Awesome. Nice. Right on. And Marty. I like a slow roast. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's me. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, follow us on Twitter, Laughing Dragon Inn. Follow us on YouTube, Laughing Dragon Inn. Go to our website, Laughing Dragon Inn, at Weebly, or dot Weebly. Dot I always say at uh, dot Weebly.com. <laughs> All kinds of opportunities. To add us, bro. So do it. Just, just, just do, do it. Do it. You waiting? For Subscribe to our Chitch channel, and you get fucking emotes. That I made. You can't get that on some other channel. You probably can. Do not look that up. Just do it. Just do it. Thank you. You can't get that high quality soup emote content. That's right. We got Gary. We got you. Got Bob. Gary the Ox. We got confirmed <laughs> monster. <laughs> Um, I'm Andy Hatton. You can follow me on Twitter at Andy Hatton. There's links to all of those things. Um, next week on the channel, we have a new Ravenloft miniseries mm -hmm. um, debuting on Tuesday. And then uh, Task Force Unlikely, episode 11, Small World, as they have to defend their godspark of Tiamat from... Uh, people yeah and by oh people, shit I mean, that yeah. timing's really getting close to working out pretty perfectly god damn it andy um mm. uh also on the dms guild right now there are a bunch of bundles that will uh all of the money made from them will go to the charity rain you should check those out and purchase one or two or all of them there's a lot of good stuff in there okay and that's it LDI out. <laughs>